Hey guys, this is Niveda Murli Dharan from NewGenMax.com. I'm really excited to launch a free playlist about e-commerce shortcuts on YouTube. Uh, this playlist is designed in such a way that I explain most of the shortcuts related to Excel. And it is designed like I start from basic, then move on to intermediate and then advanced level. So my suggestion is to check the playlist from the beginning, like uh, video one, video two and so on. And another request from my side is that Please like the video, share the video. This will encourage me a lot to create more videos. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit on the bell icon. So by this way, you will get update of the free videos that I'm updating regularly. So let's get on to the first video. In the first video, I'm going to share about proper and length function and where it is actually used. So let me start from scratch since this is the first video. I have opened into a folder and I'm right click. I have clicked on right click and click on new and Excel sheet. Okay, I'm naming it as e-commerce shortcuts. Okay, so in order to rename a fly, you can press F2. So I'm, I'll be covering some basics in between so that, you know, uh, there are a lot of people who will get benefit out of it. If I press F2, I can rename this file or you can right click and click on rename this file. So I'm pressing F2 here, selecting this, pressing F2 here and putting as one. And I have clicked on enter. Okay. Let me open this file now. Uh, I am using Microsoft Office Excel 2019. So when you are seeing this video and you are using some other version, uh, some of things will vary. So now here we are going to see two functions. One is length, another is proper. So let's, let me explain what is proper. See, there are uh, two things that I have written here. One is red, one is this is a description. So let me uh, type here the proper function and show you what is the output. So how to use the proper function means if you are using any formula on Excel, you have to start it with is equal to. So I'm just mentioning is equal to capital. I have on the caps on P-R-O-P-E-R and I'm doing open braces and I'm selecting this particular cell and then close spaces and then enter. So once I've done the formula, I can just drag it till the end. Okay. So now what happened to this proper function? What is applied means? So whenever we are typing anything, we don't follow a basic rule that the first letter should be in caps. And this will be really useful in converting the first letter to caps. And here now I have entered multiple small letter, capital letter. Now this proper function has converted into a proper description where this is a description. No? All the first letter are in caps. So this won't be useful for description. However, for titles, if you go to Amazon, they will be saying that title should have the first letter as capital followed by the small letters. So let me give an example. So consider there is a brand name. I'm just typing brand name. Okay, let me enter uh, chunk values like here itself it's auto changing. One minute. Okay, I'm typing brand name uh, followed by woman dress blue, cotton, so something like this I'm just typing means automatically this will be converted into a proper title where the first letter are changed into caps and rest all the letters in small. I'll be covering this title and other functions in a detail in upcoming videos but this is to give an idea about proper function. So where and all this will be useful means whenever you are working on the title this will be really useful and another major use of is that Whenever you are entering color name in Flipkart, at least in Amazon, when you are using a flat file, it may accept this small red color. Uh, in Flipkart, it won't accept. It will mention that the first letter should be definitely capital. I have seen many persons who will manually change this or they will use control F, I mean, find and replace option and they will change this. So instead of doing that process, you can simply use this proper function which will be really helpful for you in converting this non-aligned, like anything like caps and small into a proper aligned format where the first letter will be in the capital. So this is the basic thing of uh, proper function. 
So now let's next let's see about length function. I'm just typing here uh, to show what is length function. So as mentioned before, any formula should start with is equal to. So I'm mentioning is equal to, and I'm owning the caps L E N open braces. I'm selecting this particular cell and closing it. Okay. What does length function means? It will share you the number of characters in a particular cell that you have selected. Okay, let me explain again, which is equal to L E N of. I'm selecting this and closing the braces. So red is a three character word R E D three character word. In the same way, this one no, it is thirty five character word. Now what are the places this is really helpful? In keywords, this is really helpful because Amazon is saying you that you can have only two hundred bytes. Uh, Paytm is saying that you can have only two fifty bytes. And not only that, whenever you are uploading products with descriptions, key features also you have this restriction. For example, in few categories, Flipkart says that your title length should be only of sixty characters. So at that time, this will be really helpful if you use this formula and if it is above sixty. For example, let me show an example. Okay, this is like seventy, but if Flipkart is saying that only sixty characters is allowed, I can come and edit my title here. So else you have to upload the file, wait for two to three days for validation, and only then you can work on it. So by this way you can know the length. And in keywords this is very very important. So I have seen the best usage in keywords only, where we can control between the number of words. And another places where it is used to means for key features. So in few categories in Flipkart, for key features, key features means bullet points. They are restricted to twenty-two characters. So at that time, you can use this formula easily. So this is the places where proper and length function are used actually. So in the upcoming videos, I'll be sharing more about the other shortcuts. Meet you in the next video.